In our last video, we talked about colonial Australia and how Aussie laws were basically just adaptations of English laws. We also saw that colonial Australia looked like an autocratic state. Whatever the governor willed, that became law. And even after the creation of the first legislative and judicial bodies, Australian colonies still struggled to have a real representation and genuine self-government. And it was in this context that the Colonial Laws Validity Act of 1865 was enacted. Hello everyone, my name is Renato Costa, this is Aussie Law, and today we will look at a very important piece of legislation from the 19th century. It's an act that changed the course of legal history in Australia. I'm talking about the Colonial Laws Validity Act of 1865. We already know the background story. British laws were applicable to Australia only where convenient. And although we did have some political institutions being born and even constitutions being enacted for the colonies, the attachment of the colony to the British Parliament was still very tight. This situation started to change with the Australian Courts Act, but it came to an important development with the Colonial Laws Validity Act in 1865. The Act came to organize a bit more the legal system in Australian colony. And the long title of the Act actually said that this Act was to remove doubts as to the validity of colonial laws. The first thing that the Colonial Laws Validity Act did was to allow for local legislatures to enact legislation that was different from the ordinary UK legislation. There was a certain freedom now given to colonial legislatures to produce new law that was addressed to their local needs. Do you remember that the Australian Courts Act said that all laws enacted before the 25th of July 1828 were valid in Australia? Well, the Colonial Laws Validity Act now allowed for legislatures in the colonies to amend those laws as well. So those English laws that made absolutely no sense in Australia could now be altered by the local legislature. Do you also remember that I said that legislation in Australia was just a mess? It looked like a movable feast? No one really knew what was applicable or not. Well, the Colonial Laws Validity Act came to remedy that situation as well. Now, local legislatures could amend provisions of English law in Australia. They could even amend their own constitutions now. So, in essence, the Colonial Laws Validity Act gave the colonies the right to amend their own constitutions and to enact legislation that could override English law. But there is a caveat. And it is an important one. This was not a free pass for legislative bodies to do whatever they wanted. English laws were still to be applied and Australia was still subjected to the British Parliament. So this is the second thing that is very important in this act. The English Parliament placed a restraint on the colonial legislature's ability to amend English laws. And that limit can be summarized in the word repugnancy. If a British law applied expressly or by necessary implication, you remember how we called that law? It was applicable by paramount force. Remember that? So any colonial law that was repugnant to, that is inconsistent with the English law that operated by paramount force, that law then would be inoperative and void. Let me repeat that. Any colonial law that was inconsistent was repugnant to an English law that operated by paramount force was to be considered void and inoperative. In basic terms, the local legislative bodies could make new laws, they could amend English laws, they could even um, amend their own constitutions, but 
they could only do it if they did not oppose the English law that was operating by paramount force. English laws that were intended to be applied to the colony could not be amended just by the local legislative will. I think it's a good idea to summarize it all. Colonial Australia was a chaos in legal terms. No one knew exactly what laws were valid or not, no one knew what laws were applicable or not to the colonies. In this context, in 1865, there was the enactment of the Colonial Laws Validity Act, and that act had basically two things that I wanted to highlight. One, that local legislatures could now amend their own constitutions, and they could also override English laws, particularly those laws that were valid since the first um, settlers arrived. And two, they could only do that if that changed law was not repugnant to an English law that operated by paramount force. Thank you for watching this brief explanation about a very important piece of legislation for Australia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and also to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell sign as well so you don't miss our next videos. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you next time. Ciao!